Um, and we're going to start things this morning with a regular guest that we have here at Race Retro each year, and that is Mr. Tony Mason. Good, good. I like the music we've got you out there and a bit of fighting spirit this morning. <laughs> You're a regular to the show here at Race Retro. You've seen how much the show has grown and developed. And uh, anything really caught your attention so far this year? Uh, the car park. <laughs> no, they gave me a good pass. Oh, so I'm, park, I've got, I'm parking uh, right near the, hall, the, the main entrance, so pretty good actually. Yeah, no, I haven't really had time to sort of go around very much, but. Uh, it's always been a good show, race retro are always popular and everything else, and uh, it seems to improve year by year. And uh, judging by the car park, there's going to be a lot of people here today. We've spent a lot of time chatting over the years about your career, and, and we will talk about that in a moment, but I just want to ask you now, classic cars, classic motorsport, the historic world is so important to us in motorsport, and it seems to be an area where we need to get more young people involved. Well, I think that, I mean, there is a great interest in, um, in motorsport by the young, young people. Um, the, the classic uh, side of it is certainly um, still appealing. But I mean, the youngsters, obviously, they, they look at the cars and the vehicles and the people and everything else, and sort of, it, it's sort of history that to them. It's, it's history alive. So, uh, they, yeah, they, they follow it. Yeah, the whole sport, I mean, it is, uh, it's expanded over the years. and. Um, uh, and it's such a wide variety, I mean, all the rallying and the racing and so on and so forth. And uh, although my sort of background is rallying and, and the, you know, the winning one rally, as Jeremy Clarkson said, I made a career out of winning one little rally, which, which is more than he ever did. Um, but, 